are some sobering stats about marriage. 44% of married men have affairs, while 32% of women stray. So why do good people go bad? Joining us now is Mira Kirschenbaum, author of When Good People Have Affairs, Inside the Hearts and Minds of People in Two Relationships. Good morning, Mira. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for being here. Very interesting. Let, let's talk about the title of your book. Why was it so important for you to say good people? You know, we all do bad things, but that doesn't make us bad people. You know you're a good person if you do something bad, but then you feel badly about it. You feel guilty. And the good people I was seeing in my work were telling me that they wanted to do what was best for everyone, and they were suffering so much, so I knew they were good people. And through your work, 30 years of counseling couples, you came up with 17 different motives why people cheat. Why do you think it's so important for people to know the motive, the reason they're cheating? Be if you don't know why, how will you know if you've gotten what you were looking for? People have affairs because they want to get what's missing. It's the best way they know how to cope. You know how people used to say, let's have a baby when they have problems mm -hmm. in their marriages? Well, nowadays, because of opportunities, both men and women say, I'll have an affair. It's a, a stupid thing to do, but it is the best way people know how to get their needs met. Some of the, the affairs that you mentioned in your book, the accidental affair. Yeah, what happens here, let me give you the classic example. A woman's on a business trip, and she goes to the bar with her colleague, and they talk, but it's very noisy, so they go up to one of their rooms, and then after they do business, they have a drink, and the next thing you know, they're in bed. She never wanted to do it. She never meant to do so it. So why does that happen? What was missing there? Well, for each person, it's different. You can get, that's why you that's have to know which personal. of the 17 mm -hmm. motives are yours. Once you know why, then you'll know what to do about it. Okay, the next one is the see if affair. Yeah, what a lot of people think that they, there's something missing, and they go and they see if they get it what happens. So let's say it's sex. They're not getting enough sex, so they go and have an affair. Well, does it make a difference to get that amount of sex? That's a CF affair. And the list goes on and on and on in your 17, book. 17, yes. What, do you, what is your advice in the last seconds to people who've been cheated on? First of all, talk to the most trusted advisor you can find. Don't react. Don't take, make a decision but be calm and think clearly about what's most important to you. And if there are good things in this marriage, then it, keep it. And if you cheat, should you tell your spouse automatically? No. 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 Uh, there are two exceptions. If they, there's a chance of a sexually transmitted disease, then you have to tell, and if your spouse is likely to find out. But why would you hurt someone? Right.